Hi coders, we are going to read records from an app lab data table. We are looking at the read records demo. This is an app with no code, no screens, nothing in it, except if we click on the data tab, I have created a data table called questions. And this questions data table is countries and capitals. So what is the capital of South Korea, Seoul? So it's got seven questions and the table columns are ID, which is automatically provided by App Lab, question, correct answer, distractor one, two, and three. And that's it for the app. And what we are going to do is we're going to write code that reads records from this table. We'll go back to the code tab and in our toolbox, we'll go to the data tools and we'll grab read records. So this massive block will be drop we will drop that into our workspace and then close the toolbox so we have a little more room this read records function call has three parameters the first is the name of a table then between curly brackets is a filter parameter which right now is empty and then it has a callback function and the callback function starts with this opening curly bracket and finishes with this closing curly bracket and App Lab has added this for loop for us. It's not required. We don't need it. So we're going to delete that. Let's make this work. The first parameter is the table name. And we're going to delete the default my table. And we're going to put in our table name, which is questions. And we'll double check, click on the data tab to look at our table. Yes, it's questions, all lowercase, plural. It matches. And if we leave the filter parameter empty, blank, between these two curly brackets, that tells the read records function to grab all the records from the data table. And then once it grabs the records, then this callback function will be executed. Right now, there's nothing in the callback function, so it'll do nothing. If we run it, did it work? Can't really tell, nothing happens. Let's test it. We will test it by adding something to the callback function. So let's add a console.log statement. We'll log out the records. And now when we run it, makes the call, executes the callback function, and we log out to the console this records data structure. And what is it? It's an array. And you can tell because it's got a square bracket to begin and a square bracket to end. And inside the array are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven objects. When we click on this arrow, we can look at these objects. And you can see there's array index 0 to 6 are seven objects. And at index 0 of the array, here's the object. And it looks kind of familiar. ID of 1, question, what is the capital of South Korea? Correct answer, Seoul. Distractor one, two, three. This is simply the first row in our data table. ID of one, what is the capital of South Korea? Seoul, distractor one, two, three. And each object is actually just a row in the data table. So the read records call has brought back these seven objects that just exactly match the rows in our data table. Excellent, so it worked. Let's play with this filter a little bit. We could, instead of grabbing all seven records, we could just grab the records where the ID has the value of three. Now we're telling App Lab, read the records from the questions table, look at the ID column in the table, and grab us only the record where the ID has the value of three. Then, when you get that record, log it to the console. We reset, we run, and this time it has filtered out all the records and it only got us where the ID is three. What is the capital of Kenya? And we could, this is a very common thing to do, instead of putting the hard-coded value of three in there, in our app we might want that to be a variable. So we could say var record number equals three and then instead of passing the hard-coded value of three, we could pass the variable name record number 
And the same thing is going to happen. It's going to just get us record number three. Record where the ID is three. Yeah, that worked. And obviously, if we change the value in the variable, it's going to get us a different record. So now it got us a record where the ID is four. So you can pass a value here, or you can pass a variable that represents a value. So that's reading records from a database and a little bit on how you would filter those records. Thank you.